Shah Dalal. All 89 people on the Beeman Bangladesh Airlines internal flight survived when it crash landed in a paddy field in thick fog just two miles short of its destination, Silhet, in the northeast of the country. Sue Turton reports now on a miraculous escape. The landing gear had failed and weather conditions were atrocious. But according to religious teaching, this is Holy Land and Hazrat Shah Jalal, a Muslim saint who visited Silet 400 years ago, saved all on board. The aircraft came to rest in a paddy field, its belly sliding 500 meters across the mud. The co-pilot was the first to escape. We feel the aircraft on the ground, then uh, we stopped the aircraft uh, engine, shut down the engine, then uh, I got out from my emergency uh, uh, window, then uh, tried to uh, open the emergency passenger exit. The plane of Fokker 28 may be in pieces, but the 89 passengers and crew all walked away. 55 were taken to hospital, most with just cuts and bruises. Nearly half had flown from London, joining the connecting flight in Dhaka. All were amazed that everyone got out. We managed to scramble out of the uh, uh, emergency exit. We managed to uh, pull each other out. Personally, from my family, there were eight of us, and it was the whole family and we escaped with uh, uh, a miraculous luck. Back home in East London, Mushtaq Iqbal's relatives in the family travel agency firm are thanking God for his survival. Very relieved, yes. We are very relieved and we pray to God that God saved them. Was it a miracle? It's a, Everybody it's saying a miracle. It's a miracle. As word of the crash spread amongst the Bangladeshi community in East London, the offices of a Bengali newspaper were inundated with calls from worried relatives. In fact, I was in Bangladesh in the same plane last week and uh, traveling from uh, Silet to Dhaka. And I had a feeling, you know, because it's such an old plane, you know. The Bangladeshi aviation minister inspected the wreckage at the crash scene. He has defended the airline's safety record. It is our considered opinion that we will not be able to put this, put this aircraft into service. So are Have you uh, covered the black box? Yes. No, not yet. Cynics might say the pilots' landing skills and the soft mud saved their lives. But those with faith believe the region's saintly torchbearer, Hazrat Shah Jalal, had a hand in their survival. Sue Turton reporting off.